guys, it's Mian, and this is Beauty With Me. Today we have a fun little makeup tutorial, try on type video featuring all best selling makeup from Ulta. I reached out to some representatives from Ulta and they shared a list of their like top performing products. I have them all here. I'm gonna try them on, I'm gonna show you. But first, please subscribe. Red button down below. As you know, Beauty With Me comes out every Monday at 11 a.m. So first up is Naturally foundation and I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I have the shade Light Sand. This foundation has 6,000 reviews on Ulta and a rating of 4.5. I think that if you have very oily skin, you would love this foundation, but I think for my skin, it's a little bit uh, too matte. So I'm gonna stop there. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. I'm gonna move on to concealer. Got some concealer here, and NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer is one of the best sellers at Ulta, no surprise. I have the shade Cafe Con Leche, and I'm just going to dot this under my eyes and on any like dark spots, blemishes. I think it has a very like, natural, like satiny finish um, that you can definitely build up. It definitely isn't like super dewy like you might think. So that's something to keep in mind. So next up is powder and I have this really weird powder. It's by Becca. It's called the Hydra Mist Setting Powder and it is a loose powder. It says keep close to keep me cool because it is the weirdest feeling powder. It feels wet. So if you have drier skin, it's great. But if you have very oily skin, it will, you will get oily. Because I'm wearing such a matte foundation though, that's like so long wearing, I think that this powder is actually a good thing to layer over top. Next up we have blush. This is the shade Impassioned. So I'm gonna go in with this brush on the apples of my cheeks. I love the NARS matte blushes. It's just a good one. Bronzer. It's Benefit Hula. I have this little mini one. It's so cute. It's great for travel. It's just a great matte bronzer that you can kind of use for bronzing and contouring. Nice and versatile. Base is on. So I'm going to move on to highlighter. And I have a ColourPop product. So this is ColourPop Wisp. This is a super shock highlighter. It has the coolest, like, bouncy texture. Uh, I find best applied with fingers. Wisp is a very cool, interesting color because it's kind of champagne, it's kind of taupe. I think that it would look good on a lot of different skin tones. I always, always, always prime my eyes because they're so greasy. And I've got the Urban Decay Primer Potion right here. But I'm just gonna slap this onto my eyelids and move on. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. It has a ton of different shades. So I'm gonna go into this shade. It's like a matte burgundy. We're gonna go for like a graphic wing situation. We'll see how it goes. I'm going in with this matte shadow and I'm gonna create the shape of my wing first. So I'm gonna start on the outer corner. Ooh, pigmented. Because I went in wet, shadow's getting a little patchy. Okay, I'll tell you what I should have done. I should have gone in wet to make the shape, and then I should have, when I was filling it in, gone and dry. Going back to the palette. So I'm gonna do this in the outer corner, this in the center, and I think a little bit of this in the inner corner. So I'm gonna start with this one. So you usually do light, light to dark. I go do dark to light. All right, that one was really pigmented. Let's see what that one's called. It's called Cran Apple. So I'm gonna go in with this one. Ooh. Try this little fella right here. I really like this copper one. So I think this is as good as it's gonna get. The shadows are very pigmented. They are very creamy. I think they apply really well with fingers. I think they apply nicely wet. I need to work with this palette more. I think that I need to practice this kind of look because I've never done it before. But I'm not gonna bore you with the minutia and I'm going to Left eye is on, and gotta say it went much better. I think the ombre is a little bit more apparent, the eyeshadows are much more easy to work with. I think that, you know, for the first attempt on ombre wing, it's not too bad. So I'm going in with a little bit of eyeliner, just, I am thinking of a tight line only, because the eye look is kind of a lot. So I have the Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blackout. This product 
has 2,910 reviews and like 4.5 stars. People really like this stuff. When I tight line like straight on the like waterline of my eye up on the top, it never stays. So what I do instead is I go underneath and I tight line under my eye, but kind of more into the lash line. That way I'm kind of intensifying my upper lash line without going directly onto the waterline where it's just gonna slide right off. Very creamy, nice. We'll see how it holds up for the rest of the day. Mascara time. And I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in waterproof. So it has a really nice, big, like chunky wand. I think it's good for volume. It has like hair like bristles rather than like the silicone ones. Curling my eyelashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. So that is the eyelash situation done. A few of the best selling lipsticks are these from Lipstick Queen. I have the shades The Truth, The Whole Truth, and Nothing But The Truth. So this is the first one, it's called Nothing But The Truth. This one is The Truth. Ooh, much more like on the bubble gummy side. And this one's called The Whole Truth. Super similar. Hopefully the truth will be the true for me. That didn't even make sense. This can't be the truth. This kind of color would look fine if I didn't have such a warm eye. But you know what, I'm very impressed with the actual formula of the lipstick, so maybe go to the store and swatch it before you buy. That is it, guys. What an endeavor. I think it turned out all right. I think that for an unplanned look, kind of went into it like, Wah. and I think it came out okay. I'm gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the day. It is 12 o'clock right now, and I will let you know tonight how this full face of Ulta bestsellers wore. Hey guys, so I am back home, and it is 8. 30. I've been wearing this makeup for eight and a half hours and I'm the sun's about to set so I thought I would just finish off the episode now while I still have light and you guys can still see the makeup of my face. The foundation like I said was pretty matte when I first put it on but now my natural oils have kind of seeped through it and it looks really natural and kind of nice and like dewy in some areas. I'm pretty oily because it's been very humid outside. Highlighter still popping. The concealer looks great still under my eyes. I have a little bit of wear underneath um by around my nose because I was blowing my nose earlier because I had curry for dinner. Dinner. Lipstick wise, you know, I didn't expect much wear from that. It was a normal lipstick. The eyes held up amazing. The shadow is still so pigmented and so nice. The primer held on, the shadow didn't like fall underneath my eye, the mascara was great, but the eyeliner, that's what I was so impressed with. I don't have any smudging underneath my eye, I, very small amounts, like a little bit here, nothing too crazy, but eyeliners never stay in my tight line, but this one did, so good on you, Ulta. There we have it. I'm actually quite pleased with how everything looked. I'm a fan. Okay. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you want to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refine29. Click here to watch another video and follow me on Instagram at Rianne.chan to see more makeup stuff.